It's kind of sad when Christians attack the Bible. Now, I'm sure some of you have seen this graphic, or one similar, and to tell the truth, it's a lie. The people who create graphics like this and talk about them, either they don't realize that it's a lie, or they ignore the information that's available, and they don't bother looking into it. What's going on here is that there are differences between the King James Version and other versions. There are verses in the King James that are not in others. Now, was there some grand conspiracy to remove verses from the Bible? Well, I can tell you right now it doesn't make any sense for those particular verses to be missing out of some kind of conspiracy because it doesn't change doctrine at all. So some of you want to know, what happened to them? Why aren't they in the other translations? And that's quite simply because they weren't originally in the text that the authors wrote. When the King James Version was translated, it was a very good thing that was done at its time, but it had much later transcripts to work with. Since that time, older transcripts that are much closer to the time at which these um, documents were written have been discovered. and. A lot of these verses are not in these older manuscripts, which means that at some point some well-meaning monk who was tasked with making a new copy decided to add in things that weren't there. Again, none of these verses detract or add to any kind of theology, but they just weren't there to begin with. Now, there are some translations that will still have them in there, but you'll see some kind of footnote or asterisk or uh, parentheses that says that this is not in older manuscripts. So if the authors didn't originally put it in there, why are people so adamant that it has to be in there? And it's because they've been taught by tradition that the King James Version is the God-inspired English version of the Bible, that it's the one God wants us to read and everything else is of the devil. Don't believe me? Just ask them. Now, there are some people who prefer the King James Version, and that's great. I don't have a problem with that. It's still God's Word. It can still lead people to salvation. But to say that all other versions are evil, 